Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. How's it going? It's good to see you. Thank you very much for watching. I'm back. I'm back. I've been gone for a couple of days. It's been a while. I've actually been away because um, essentially after doing the E3 coverage, I was wiped out. I wasn't well during the actual recording of those episodes and took a couple of days to recover. And I'd already scheduled a, a fair amount of stuff to cover for the beginning of this week, at least. But uh, the biggest problem was that I just didn't have enough time to recover before having to run off to a you know, convention last weekend. And um, yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> I'm, I'm, this is my post E3, post QCon video. And um, yeah, like this is actually how I announced that I was actually going to be at QCon just on the Sunday. I was like, I was so unwell, I didn't make it to the first couple of days. So I had to actually just go that last day. And uh, of course, we went down, joined into the rest of the crowd of people. Whoa, what happened there? Oh, no. So yeah, I essentially figured out what I was going to do. I, we posted up some images of uh, some of the cosplayers I caught at the con and um, other people that we met at the con. So uh, yeah, this is actually the Bright Patch Wolf, an amazing YouTuber that you should check out his channel. If you're into anime, if you're into um, analysis of anime and reasons and like a really good breakdown on why you should watch particular shows, uh, especially if you're kind of into shonen or if you're into sports manga, the, the, it's, a, it's a good series or a good YouTube channel to go and check out. There's a link in the Instagram and there'll probably be a link below or you can just easily Google them or search for him on youtube because where what broke on youtube is where you're watching this probably so uh yeah big shout outs to super Eye patch wolf for being a cool motherfucker uh so end up i was actually uh, because i was only there for the day i didn't get to take as many photographs or videos i wanted to do um there's a lot of really good video of the cosplay masquerade from the last sunday and a bunch of photographs from the large cosplay meet at the very end on sunday but uh, the problem is I actually had edited everything down for the purpose of actually playing back during this video and the, I messed up. I didn't actually, I didn't actually, um, ah, mess it up there. There we go. That way I can actually do the next one in this. Uh, I messed up whenever I was rendering, I messed up a couple of times, they're back to back. I messed up whenever I was rendering out the video uh, because I had workmen coming into the house today to actually uh, fix a boiler or put in a boiler. We're not putting a boiler, we're putting the heater or Whatever. Essentially, the central heating system in the house is getting redone. But um end up I turned off my computer before I think it finished rendering and I lost the work that I'd done previously because they had to get to the switch the electric board. And um I wasn't I didn't want to delay this video any longer because it's already been the weekend and it's been a couple of days. So I thought, right, I'd just bring up the photographs and just point out the people that I actually like if you guys see yourselves. Tag yourselves in the photographs and check yourselves out because you all look glorious. You look fabulous. You look great in your costumes. I just wish I was actually able to get costumes I was planning to do done and dusted in time for the con. But yeah, uh, there's always the next con because there's going to be one this weekend coming up that I'm going to be attending in. Um, and it's the MCM con that's going to be in the Icon Center in Lisbon. Is it Lisbon? Uh, it'll be on this weekend. So I'm going to be attending the day of that as well. Probably snapping photographs of any cosplayers I missed out from GooCon that will be going to both. So it'll be interesting to see how many people actually just attend both of them. Because the uh, Icon Center is a little bit more out of the way. And on to the next batch of like, individual photographs. I didn't like, like I said, didn't get that many. This is actually a girl dressed up as Mickey. Um, I remember seeing the video for it. Uh, this is actually a good friend, Nadine Leslie, uh, dressed up. Uh, the characters sometimes, I don't know. I don't know you. <laughs> it's just it's a really good cosplay. Um, League of Legends character as well, like Kitsune. So anybody who actually I got photographs with, uh, because I was actually like I only had the quick shots to get them on the day. Some of these actually, and like I'm, I'm that one's actually Instagram ruined because it actually was a nice shot. It's just a clip by Instagram. But um, some of the people I know who have actually seen going to cons. I've actually I've seen the way you guys make your costumes develop over the years, and it's just like it's gone strength to strength. And some people just are natural charisma in their personas. The um, there's a fair amount of actual Pokemon cosplayers actually wandering around. Um, I like the I like the Skull Gang. They all it's just whenever you see people dress as Skull Gang, hassling people, which is actually entertaining because it's just part and parcel of their personality. Just you know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Good times, good times had. <laughs> and of course the Con Cousins thing. Uh, I was chatting to the guys from Revolve Comics on the um, Con floor. They actually had my another issue of Solstice out, and they've got a third one coming out soon. The um, we we're just chatting about the fact that whenever you go to cons regularly, year in year out, you end up actually becoming friends with people that you don't see at any other time of the year. They're just they're just people that you see on the con season, and then you're going like, "Wow, okay." So the next time we'll see each other is probably uh next week, and then after that, 
probably not for another nine and a half months, which is like one of those things where it's like almost like a, an extended family that you kind of pick up along the way. So just they coined the phrase con cousins, and it's just I like the phrase con cousins is actually a great way to refer to people. It's like your family, not that close, but we see each other at major occasions. <laughs> so I think actually, um, I was like retrying to try, we're trying to make that tag happen on uh, Tinder or Tinder, <laughs> Instagram. Jesus Christ! Oh, my brain is actually fried. I'm still only recovering. Um, I've, this is the fact that I've actually been off camera for a week. Actually, it feels like I've unrefined myself. I've actually, I've got like what granular ability that I might have had to talk on camera has completely and utterly been eliminated by not doing it every single day. So uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has actually just been a look at the con pictures from QCon 2017. I'm so disappointed I don't have the video actually up for all the things that happened at the con. I, I just end up grabbing footage of the floor of some of the stands of some of the people I actually like thought looked amazing. End up the the Cosby Masquerade and the Sunday. Speaking of which, Cosby Masquerade and Sunday, there was two Yuri on Ice cosplayers. I don't know if you actually see them too well in the shots that I have up on screen there. They proposed to each other on stage during the convention. Fair play to you and congratulations. Um, we all hope that <laughs> I hope that goes extremely well. Um, all love tees because that was actually awesome. It was honestly one of those things where we sta we were standing up in the crowd going like, wait, is this just them play like shipping the characters as they should be in the show? Or is this actually real because one of them drop into their knee and actually offering a ring? And I was going like, oh, it's so cute. It's adorable. It's sweet. It's wonderful. And I love it. So uh, guys, like, uh, spread your love. Say thank you very much. for. I uh, say thank you very much for all of you actually giving me an amazing time this weekend whenever I was only in like basic recovery mode from actually being unwell. Um, I had a great time with QCon, and thank you very much, uh, everybody who's actually watching this video. I hope you guys actually enjoyed it. Um, if you're going to actually go to the cons, uh, like I said, Icon uh, Center uh, next week for MCM Lisburn, I'll be there. They snap some pictures and probably get some video. It'll be a little bit more formulaic and prepared rather than what I end up doing for this one. So I'll probably do a post-con video for that next week, of course, uh, just talking about the con. And anybody I manage to get interviews with or talk to while I'm there. So, um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, uh, if you enjoyed watching this video and you enjoy watching me talk uh, about things and places and events, make sure to hit the subscribe button way up there or the follow button down there or whatever the button may be that actually gets you to continue on being able to be notified about stuff I do. Thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.